Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to unbox the Kyosho 8th scale motorcycle and I have the Honda NSR 500 livery right here. And this is a remote control electric power motorcycle. It has suspension using inverted front forks. It uses a real chain drive just like the real motorcycle. Uh, there, there's a lot of detail throughout. Um, there's a brake handle right there. And this driver actually leans when the motorcycle uh, turns you can see the kind of the silhouette right there so this is actually pretty cool um i'll leave some link to the other videos that i watched before so you can see it in action on the track i don't know what is included in here i might need to buy a motor esc and servo whatnot we'll figure it out so let's get it open all right let's open it up So right here is the manual, and we'll go through that a little bit later on. And here are the decals. This is the decals for the rider, and that sheet over there is for the bike. And the first bag right here uh, looks like it's the fuselage of the bike. That would be the gas tank. That's the front of the bike. That's another piece of the front of the bike right there. And this looks like it's the bottom. There's also a, a clear plastic windscreen right there. It's pretty neat. All right, second bag. Um, I'm not sure what these are. Probably just some spacers. I see the handlebars right there. And the torso of the rider. The helmet and legs and arms. Over here, this looks like it's the engine of the motorcycle. Um, I think the motor is going to go in there. That looks like a motor mount to me uh, with these three holes. Uh, I see the suspension arms right here. And these are probably going to be the servo horns. And then this bag is the frame structure of the bike. Uh, you can see there, there, and those look like arms. Uh, this piece as well. And then in the back, this is the bike stand. That's part of the handlebars. And these are the brakes in the real bike. I'm not sure what they did. There's this decoration here um, and another wheel. So the rubber wheels and tires are right here. They're pre-mounted, but they're not glued. Um, the front tire is actually significantly smaller and thinner than the rear tire. Then we have some loose bags here, bag number one. Uh, not sure what these pipes are, maybe it's part of the shock. Let's see, and some screws. Bag number two, you have a spring right there, you have this, there's a rod right there and some brass parts and some more screws. Bag three looks like uh, gears and also the motor and looks like some spacers right there. I saw one video, unboxing video, where there was a Habu Wing 1060 included. And here's number four. There's these two kind of semi-circular. Uh, they're pretty heavy. I don't know what those are for yet. Probably part of the wheel. Have a lot of rods right here and some screws. And here is a wrench and Kyosho Hobby Grease and some more screws. This is the last bag right here. Um, this is a rubber a tube. And this is a metal frame and then a lot of screws on the back side. All right, that's what's in the box. Let's look at the manual. Let me give you guys a look at the decal sheet. These are pre-cut. This is for the rider, and this one is pre-cut. It's pretty good. And this is the sheet for the motorcycle itself. Um, it's pretty neat for the badge and numbers. All right, and here's the manual. Right off the bat, what I notice is uh, this manual is Japanese heavy. The Japanese comes first, and then the English. So let's take a look. Uh, step one, 
is going to be what is required to build this kit. And obviously you need all of the electronics, uh, the transmitter, receiver, uh, servo, ESC, and the receiver right here. And they all have specific dimensions that they suggest. And you need a charger, obviously. And you need paint. This is not a Lexan body, as you saw. It's going to be a plastic body. So if you're using Tamiya paint, it's going to be the TS series. All right. And then right here it tells you it needs a battery. It doesn't give you dimensions for the battery, but I think we'll figure it out once we build the kit. And then it gives you a little heads up on the screw itself. And these are the ordinary screws, ST screws. And there are some measurements um, where the me measurements are and the diameter, things like that. And obviously, step one over here is to ask you to test all the electronics together. That makes sense. Uh, I do that sometimes. All right. And the build, it looks, the diagrams are great. It doesn't look like um, there's a lot to do for each frame here. So that makes it easy. On the left hand side, it tells you um, all the screws that you're going to need for these steps. Um, and does it say the bag number? Yeah, it says bag number one. So that would be bag number one for these two frames right here. And then uh, this one as well needs three of those screws. Um, and then right away, we need the ESC and the receiver ready right from the beginning. Um, and again, there's some more dimensions right there. Uh, and then the servos next. Really, electronics come in really early on, on this kit. That's great. Um, this is the servo horn onto the servo. And then there's some specific instructions here on how to mount the servo. And what else here? This is the, here are some of the rods. And this is gonna be bag number two. And it looks like we're gonna be building the uh, frame of the motorcycle and then the engine motor um, and the gears for this motorcycle and then the motor itself is going to be mounted right here and I was correct uh, that kind of grayish silver uh, panel is the motor mount and it shows you how to do that right there and there's some wire connections already um, and then there's some other parts for the rear of the bike. I think that is, no, that is not the speedometer. Uh, just something that looks like it. All right. Let's see what else. And on the next page, we assemble the wheels. So those semi-circle um, metal pieces is actually part of the wheel. Uh, you would put it inside the, uh, between the wheel and the rubber tire. Um, that looks like it's gonna be the front tire. Uh, so that's what that is for. And then we're gonna assemble the rear. And right here, we're gonna mount the wheel already. And then we're gonna be building the handlebars and the front arms. And there's just so much adjustment here. Um, again, one frame, there isn't a whole lot going on, so that makes it easier to build. But this bike is um, surprisingly sophisticated. All right, so I think we're getting near the end here where we're just going to start build, building the body right here. And these, are the, this is the frame of the, I mean, the uh, body of the motorcycle. And here's the driver's legs and arms. And we're gonna be mounting the driver itself. It's pretty neat. So that is part of the, um, uh, and the moving parts of the body right there. So when you turn, it's gonna turn the uh, rider as well. And there is the kickstand. And what else we got here? Uh, so this is the paint scheme. 
Uh, here's the decals and how to paint the figures and illustration of the decals for the driver as well. On the next page, it tells you about operations. Um, I guess you can start from the stand or you can hold it uh, for start. And there's some adjustments right here and cornering techniques. So it actually teaches you how to drive this. Um, and this is just the operating uh, things to know before you operate the motorcycle. And then on the back side is a part sheet and tells you what parts uh, you can replace with. So that's it. There is the Kyosho 1.8 scale radio controlled electric power motorcycle. And again, this is the Honda NSR. And thanks for watching this video. If you got something out of it, please drop a like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next video.